Hello, it's great to be here. Great to have the opportunity in the studio to talk to our WTLN listeners out there. If you're listening in, thank you so much for engaging with our ministry. We're very grateful for what you do and very grateful that this program is a help to you. I pray that it'll be a blessing. And one of the things that we wanted to talk about today in our segment before the sermon begins is a conference that we're holding May 29th through May 31st, 2015. And it's our 2015 Call for Discernment Conference entitled A Call to Arms. And the conference is particularly about protecting our children and families from the the menacing side, the dark side of media and technology. In today's culture, it's become such a serious issue. And with the advance of technology, the just the staggering um, rate at which technology is advancing, we find that more and more an influence on our families, more and more an influence and a danger for our kids. And so we want to inform families, get them informed uh, with how to protect their family from the dark side of media and technology today. And for that conference, we're very, very blessed to have guest speaker with us, Trace Embry. And Trace is a nationally syndicated radio host of Licensed to Parent. And he's also the founder of Shepherd's Hill Academy, which is a a residential counseling program for troubled teens. Uh, You can find information about Trace's ministry at licensedtoparent.org. And it's our great privilege today to have Trace on the air with us. Hey, Trace, how are you doing today? You're wonderful, sir. Well, good, and we're glad to have you. So we're looking forward to this conference. I, I know our parents are getting uh, very excited about this. They're looking forward to the information in large part because uh, much of this information today is unknown to parents. Parents seem to be uh, relatively uh, naive often when it comes to their kids and their families and the impact that technology is having. You know, I've heard it said before, Trace, that uh, if you're not training your kids, then someone or something else is. So where do you see uh, today, do you see that education primarily coming from? Is it environment? Is it music? Is it social media? What do you think? Well, all the above. It's interesting you should say what you said, because I sign off every one of our radio broadcasts with that very very line. If you don't train your children, somebody else will. And the truth of the matter is, somebody somebody else already has. And um, uh, not only have they trained our children, but they trained us as well. And and if people will will come to this... uh, this conference, they're going to find out just how uh, trained they have, have actually been, how indoctrinated they actually have been. And uh, when you look at uh, you know, all the, the statistics by George Barn and others, you can find out that the, even those who feel like, uh, you know, because they're in church every week, that they have a biblical worldview, when they're tested, they find out that they really don't have a biblical worldview. And they have allowed the enemy to come in and. Uh, basically uh, dupe them with some false premises. And if you, if you buy into a false premise on anything, the rest of the story can actually make sense to you. Uh, but uh, uh, we, we want to get people straight on that and, and get them back to uh, looking at reality as reality actually is. And that, of course, being filtered through a biblical worldview. Amen. So, yeah, we definitely want to go to the Word of God uh, for our parenting instruction. And, you know, I I know you've said before, too, that um, uh, today, by and large, with our parents, although parents may be um, trying to be meticulously faithful to the Bible and how they raise their kids, uh, the culture has also become uh, an influence on our parenting. Uh, Can you talk about that a little bit? How is the culture today uh, influencing or impacting the parenting of our kids? Well, uh, certainly through digital technology, and we'll be talking a whole bunch about that. Uh, but, of course, I, th- I think there's a lot of people who don't understand it, really how the public school system is really creating our kids, uh, uh, in a, uh, shaping them to, to become <laughs> not too unlike Hitler's youth. Uh, you go there for eight hours a day to get a, uh, an eight-hour indoctrination uh, in the way things are done uh, with political correctness and, and what you know, evolutionary thought and antichrist approach to, uh, to, to reality. Uh, you've, you've got... Uh, all the sex, drugs, and, and rock and roll in, in the public school system, and uh, the homosexual agenda is another one. And so when you send your kids to Babylon, we cannot be surprised uh, when they come home Babylonians. And so I'm a real big homeschool proponent, and unfortunately, I wish I could say private schools were a whole lot better. In some cases, they are. If you find the right private school, you'll do, you, you'll do real well for yourself. Unfortunately, there are very few and far between. Uh, Again, some of them are a little bit better than public school, and some of them are a little bit worse. And that's largely because the public schools are kicking these kids out. And an ill-equipped Christian school is, uh, who have been eaten up with postmodern thought themselves are taking these kids in, thinking they're going to evangelize them and, and, and uh, you know, disciple them. And unfortunately, just the opposite happens. Uh, the, the kids, because they're so ill-equipped, uh, 
through apologetics and discipleship and and whatnot. They they they're not too good at evangelizing these kids. Uh, these these uh, rougher kids, the, the kids that are getting kicked out of public school, but these these kids that are getting kicked out of public school are very good at evangelizing our kids. And again, just look at the statistics, you'll see what I'm saying is true. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Hey, you know, Trace, what would you say to that parent that, you know, maybe it's a single parent, single mom, uh, the kids are in public school, and there just doesn't seem to be another option for them, but they notice uh, a distance, maybe even a hostility from their teen. Uh, The teen is, uh, you know, spending most of their time behind closed doors of their room or sneaking into a bathroom or staying up all night. Uh, The mom notices them with the phone more often or more often on the computer. Uh, What kind of instruction or can you give to that mom or what might you say to that mother who's very concerned about what's going on and maybe doesn't know how to start or how to begin getting control of what's happening in her home? First of all, I would say that that mom needs to make sure she's got a husband that that uh, will will take the bull by the horns. We have a terrible crisis of manhood in America, and I think we almost always assume that that, that moms are the ones that are going to be involved in this. Dads have better get off the couch. They better uh, get back in the home, and spend some time doing what uh, men uh, were called by God to do and be the leaders of their home, the spiritual leaders. Amen the enforcer, uh, the provider of their homes, and uh, th- this, is, this is tragic. But I think the, the biggest problem is that we as parents have, been, uh, have bought so much into political correctness that we're afraid to do what we have to do uh, with our children. We don't like conflict. We're peacekeepers rather than peacemakers. And uh, all we're doing uh, by being a peacekeeper is keeping the peace for the moment. Uh, but we're just prolonging it to where uh, something small in a month or two or three or even a year or several years then becomes a, you know, a big volcano that explodes and then you've already lost so much ground to the enemy that uh, that's about the time uh, you need a place like Shepherd's Hill Academy to get things straightened out. And we want to uh, take outside the gate of Shepherd's Hill what we know is transforming the lives of, of kids and, and the families uh, inside the gate. And uh, so a little preventative work, and that's probably what you had in mind here with the Call of Arms Conference. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, we're very, very grateful for your ministry there, grateful for all that you do. And uh, it's such a needed uh, resource today. Uh, Trace, if our listeners want to form, find more information about you or the resources available to them from your ministry, where would they go? Yeah, uh, licensedtoparent.org. We have a one-minute daily, uh, just packed full of just really rich stuff. We have a weekly 30-minute program. Uh, but you can go to the archives and you can hear programs from as far back as, well, I'm not really sure how far back, but uh, you can get caught up on a lot of things by just going to the, to the archives there. Uh, and that's at licensedtoparent.org, licensedtoparent.org. And if you want to know more about the, uh, the residential program, you get a lot of good information too uh, at shepherdshillacademy.org, which you can go to shepherdshillacademy.org, but no one knows how to spell that. So we always give over the phone or over the radio HelpMyTroubledTeen.org. HelpMyTroubledTeen.org. Fantastic. Thank you, brother, very much. And we look forward to hopefully seeing some of you out for the conference May 29th through the 31st. It's our 2015 Call for Discernment conference entitled A Call to Arms with great information to help you protect your children, your family from media's menacing dark side. You can find more information at the conference website, protectthefamily.net, protectthefamily.net. This is a ministry of Cornerstone Baptist Church right here in Orlando, Florida. You can find more information there at our website at cornerstoneorlando.com. Org, or feel free to call us, 407-971-7685. Uh, please register. We look forward to seeing you there, and God bless you.